everyone, welcome back. We often hear people talking about having a pure heart. And I'm sure perhaps sometimes we look at ourselves and we think, Oh, I've got a long way to go. My heart is not so pure. But I think it's important we have a biblical understanding of this expression, a pure heart. Paul says in 2 Timothy 2, verse 22, he says to Timothy, Flee youthful lusts. Pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace, and those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Now, this expression of a pure heart is something we can track all the way back to David. And if you remember when Samuel, the prophet, went to the house of Jesse and was looking for the future king of Israel, he looked at all the big brothers and he said, well, is this all you have? And then along comes this young man called David and when Samuel sees him, he's a bit dismayed by what he sees. But then God says to him, and he says, This is the man, for he has a heart that is after me. And you see, that's the pure heart. Yet when we look at David's life, we see the sin. We see the adultery. The fact that he, he murdered the husband of Bathsheba. We see many of the things that David did were not good things, not righteous things. But yet... Whenever he was faced by God or confronted by the prophets, he was quick to repent. And you see, that's the heart that God is looking for. He knows that we are not perfect. He knows that we don't do everything right. We don't say everything right all the time. But he is looking for people who are quick to repent, quick to seek forgiveness, quick to clear the air, quick to, to make things right before God and before people. And that's the pure heart that he is looking for. 1 Peter, he says, Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit and sincere love of brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart. So there are times we have conflict. There are times where we have a bit of archy-bargy with our brother or somebody in the church or the family. But if we have that pure heart, we will be quick to put things clear and right. And that's the state. That's what God is looking for from each and every one of us. That heart that is called to walk in humility. That heart that desires to put God first. That heart that wants to always make sure that even though there are things that happen and are not good, but in the midst of it, we still maintain our walk with the Lord and we keep our righteousness intact, as it were. Our right standing intact. That's what God is looking for from each and every one of us. So that's the call that God is putting out to all of us today. May the Lord help us. God bless.